Hey everybody, I'm going to be presenting about how to abstract over data definitions. If you haven't seen my intro to abstraction video, I'd highly recommend it since I'm going to be using the steps presented in that video. So let's look at two data definitions that are very similar to each other and, as usual, abstract over them to enable us to define other data definitions with ease. Here we have the data definition for a list of numbers and the data definition for a list of strings. These data definitions are very similar, so let's move on to the third step, which is circling the differences. We see that the differences are in the name of the data definition, list of number versus list of string, and the first element of the cons. You have cons number onto a list of number, and cons string onto a list of string. The fourth step of the abstraction design recipe is to abstract these differences and arguments to a function. Since we are working with data definitions, we have to define a new kind of data definition that uses a variable. This variable will be like an argument to a function, and when we replace the variable with another data definition, it will create a new list data definition. Below the list of number and list of string data definitions, we now have the abstracted list of data definition. Notice how the differences we circled before are now replaced by the variable x. Also notice how the data definition is now wrapped in brackets as if it were a function. List of is the name of the function and x is an argument. Our final step of the abstraction design recipe is to redefine the previous data definitions using the abstract data definition. So, our list of number data definition just becomes list of number. This is because if you were to replace every occurrence of the variable x in the abstract data definition list of x, we would get a list of number is one of empty cons number list of number, which is identical to our previous list of number definition. Similarly, we rewrite our list of string definition using our abstract list of x data definition to list of string because just as before if you replace every occurrence of the variable x with string we get that a list of string is one of empty con string list of string which is identical to our previous definition. I hope this video helped and until next time